Hello, today I'm sharing five products with you that have been huge difference makers, game changers for me in some way. Every time I reach for them, I think, wow, this has really changed the way I, I do something. I've done videos like this before and I always get excited when I find products like this that really change something about my routine or you know that make something a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get into it. But first, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, if this is your first time here or if you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet for whatever reason I do hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button before the end of this video all right let's go ahead and get into these five products so a couple of these products I've been using for a long time a couple are relatively new over the past couple of months and they've just made a huge difference and this one is from a brand that I've been using for a long time but this particular product is newer to me like within the past month or so but it's blown me away I'm going through a lot of stress right now we're getting ready to move we have a bunch of construction going on in front of our house just with basically not having enough hours in the day you know I'm working what 10 hour 12 hour days sometimes and then after that going right into packing and cleaning and purging the house dealing with the construction while I'm trying to work during the day so this portion of the video is in partnership with Hum Nutrition and I'm super excited about it because I cannot get over how well I am responding to Calm Sweet Calm so you know I've talked on my channel many times about how I just believe in beauty beauty from the inside out and just taking care of our body from the inside out. And that's one of the reasons why I've, I've used Hum Nutrition for so long. So these are vegan gummies. They don't have any artificial colors or flavorings or preservatives. So prior to starting these, I was very anxious and was getting really crabby with everything that was going on. I've also always been someone that takes a little bit to go to sleep and then I'll wake up a few times before I fully go to sleep. And I wake up maybe four to five times a night. It's just the way I am. Within a few days, I noticed that I didn't seem as anxious and as grouchy. I was just kind of able to do everything. And the thing that is impressing me the most is the sleep. I've been raving about this to basically anyone who's near me. I have been falling asleep so quickly when my head hits the pillow, it's unreal. And I've been sleeping throughout the night except for waking one time, usually around four in the morning, and I go right back to sleep. Now these aren't made for sleep, but because of how everything else is being balanced and regulated, I think it's carrying over to help make me sleep better, which is also helping balance everything during the day. I am just so, so thankful that I found these. So I was intrigued by the two main ingredients in this specifically. We're hearing a lot more about them lately, I feel like. L-theanine is in green tea. It's an amino acid that our body doesn't produce on its own and it's not common in the diet, but it helps the body deal with stress by promoting relaxation without drowsiness and it's a mood booster. The second main ingredient is ashwagandha and that helps the body reduce cortisol levels as well as stress and improves focus and concentration. Now it does say that they have a sour cherry flavor I don't find them to be sour at all. They're just kind of a mild, kind of adult sweet flavor, I guess. Now, I know there are going to be some people that pop in here and say, oh, I'm just raving about this because it's a sponsored video. 100% these will be in my monthly favorites and fails, and they would have been had I discovered them on my own, and this partnership never existed. I love these things, and I don't see being without them anytime soon, if ever. But again, I just do well with Hum Nutrition formulas. They're highly absorbable. They're non-GMO. They're gluten-free, and a lot of them have nutrients that we can't readily obtain in food, not that my diet is perfect anyway, that I would be obtaining these nutrients in food. But I just fully believe in getting, you know, supplementation where you're lacking and, you know, beautifying from the inside out if you're able to do so. And that's one of the reasons why I, you know, I continue to talk about home nutrition on my channel here and there in various videos, because I just think that they put out great products. So I'll put a few of the supplements that I enjoy down in the description box. If you're interested in seeing those too, everything that I talk about, I will link in the description box and I will also also list what I'm wearing. If you're on mobile, hit the title below the video. If you're on desktop, look below that title and hit the words show more and you can get to everything. This has been with me for a while now, a long while, and I've talked about it on my channel a ton. And not only do they have the one that I'm going to show you, but there's also a Smashbox Cali Contour Palette for deeper skin tones now that's widely available. I want to say it used to only be on the Smashbox website, but now it's in other places. It's more 
accessible. I think that's fantastic. So just know this is not the only version of this that's available. This face palette was a game changer for me because not only was I able to use it on my face, but I could get an entire look with it by using it on my eyes too. And it just worked out beautifully. There are other face palettes out there that you can do that with, but this has been my go-to because Everything in here is just perfect and the formula is gorgeous. So I'm gonna show you little clips in the corner here or here of me using this today, just so you can see some ways that I use this. This is just such a good multitasking palette. I just think everyone should have it. When I need to get ready quickly or travel or whatever, this is what I reach for. And this is so silly, but I also love that I can fold that back if I need to. <laughs> just set it down on my vanity. I don't know. It's the little things. So this contour shade, if you are familiar with Kevin Aquan medium sculpting powder that everyone raves about, I feel like this is so comparable. Even in formula, it's just perfect and it's got just enough of a gray undertone, which is what you want in a contour shade. You don't want it to be warm. It, it'll look funny when you're trying to create a shadow. So today I just used it in various areas on my face to create a contour, but I also did something that I don't do often, but I wanted you to see that you can deepen up the outer corner of your eye as well as deepen up your crease a little bit more with this contour shade. I mean, you can do that with any contour shade, but you can also take it on your lower lash line as well. This bronzer is a really flattering light medium to medium shade. It's got warmth to it, but no sheen. And I use this just like I use any other bronzer. I take it on the areas of my face that get sun, but I also use it as a transition shade in my crease and above on my eye. And I take it on my lower lash line just to widen up the eye a little bit, make them look a little bit bigger. This blush is deceiving. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but I have yet to hear of a person that doesn't love this shade. It's super flattering across a multitude of skin tones and it wears well. I mean, all the products in here do, but I've also used this in my crease too as a transition and it's really flattering. Sometimes I'll mix the bronzer and the blush. I've talked about the highlighter formulas before. There are two highlighters in here. Now, if I'm using this as a straight highlight, I will use the lighter champagne shade. That's just my preferred shade. But when I'm using this for my eyes too, I use either one of them on my eyes. Sometimes I'll dip my finger back and forth between the two and get kind of an in-between shade and it's perfect. Now this is a highlight powder. It is matte. This is probably my least used product in here, but if you have hollow or sunken in areas that you want to bring forward a little bit, this really does the job. I also use this as a brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. If I need to clean up some eyeshadow, I'll use it. So it has a place for sure. It can be used for a multitude of things. True game changer. And will be in my life as long as it's around. I do already have a backup because that contour shade is running low and several others have pretty significant dips and I just don't want to be without this. This was in my January favorites and fails, but the more I use this, the more I realize this has been quite a game changer for me. So if you ever use a big fat round brush to dry your hair, or if maybe you like the results of using one, but that's a little time consuming, or maybe you've tried the oval shaped dryer brushes and you didn't really jive with them for whatever reason, this is the dry bar single shot. It's round. This is the answer for you. There are some round ones out there that turn while you dry your hair and your hair can end up tangled up and it's just kind of an awkward mess. This doesn't turn. This is exactly like their double shot, which was oval. This is, you know, like that Revlon dryer that everybody has, but that oval shape can be a little awkward. And there was always a part of me that wondered why they made it oval instead of round when logically all the brushes that we use are round. I do, you know, dry my hair to 80%, just loose dry before I use this. But I mean, I can dry my hair so quickly with this and I don't have to fumble with a hair dryer and a round brush. It's so much quicker than doing that. It makes everything nice and sleek. Now this isn't going to curl your hair unless your hair's long probably. So if you have short to medium length hair and you've been using the bigger oval brushes and you're kind of struggling with it and wondering why it's not working for you, it's because the recommendation from dry bar at least is to use this brush, the single shot for that length of hair. And if you have longer hair to use the oval brush, it helps me dry my hair faster and get smoothness and volume and a little bit of style all in one. Sorry, there's hair in here. I just noticed that. Um, should have cleaned it before I came on here, but I mean, hey, we all have hair that gets in brushes, right? 
right? There are two heat settings on here and I know it doesn't go above a certain temperature. I don't feel like my hair is getting damaged with this. I just feel like it does a good job. And I mean, I feel like time wise and getting a style or, you know, just smoothing my hair and giving volume within that amount of time. And in terms of efficiency, it's really made a huge difference for me. This is a newer foundation that I think nails it as far as being fantastic for all skin types. Now I liked it right from the start and I didn't expect to, but I'm realizing all the different ways I've been using it and what it does for the skin. I'm just so impressed with it and I really do think that it's a game changer. Okay, so before I go further, let me tell you what it is. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. It's got a really long name. I have oily combination skin. I get oily in my T-zone and I'm normal in the perimeter, but I do have some surface dehydration around this area because of prescription tretinoin in use. So when you think about a lot of the higher end glowy radiant foundations, the Urban Decay Hydromaniac is $29, which I think is a great price point for a brand that, you know, is not drugstore. Now, glowy radiant foundations that hydrate your skin throughout the day typically don't work well for those of us with oily skin things going on. This one does. It lasts throughout the day. It looks beautiful. This is the foundation that I have on. I'm hoping it's looking good on screen. I can't really tell, but it looks good in person. This is flattering. It's age friendly. I mean, I'm 45. I don't want something that's going to settle into my fine lines. It does give a little bit of a glow, but it's not something that makes me look greasy. And unlike a lot of you know, glowy, radiant foundations, it doesn't break down during the day. It lasts all day. So it's game changing for me, not only because I'm reaching for it so much more than I thought I would, but I genuinely do feel like it's giving me that all day hydration. I feel like I'm genuinely not as dehydrated in my, you know, dehydrated spots when I wear this as I am on other days. This is great as a mix in if you have a foundation that, you know, maybe it's just a regular finish or a matte finish, but you don't want to dilute the coverage with you know, mixing in just a highlighter type of product, you still get the coverage, but you get that, you know, little bit of radiance in there. I can sheer it out. I can, you know, go with a more medium coverage and it looks really great and natural on the skin. It's not often that I say a foundation is a game changer. So this is kind of weird for me to put this in this video, but I just feel like I'm reaching for it so much more than I thought I would on a daily basis. And I don't feel like I look like I'm wearing heavy makeup when I'm wearing it. It just looks good and it feels great. Okay, the sole reason why I'm putting this in this video is because of the last few videos I've watched of myself and I noticed this part of my face just doesn't look as taut as it has in past videos. And I have attributed it to not using this. This is the New Face Trinity, but there's also a smaller version. Ugh, I can't remember the name, but I'll have both listed and linked down below. So I'm not someone that has talked a ton about this, mostly because I haven't been super consistent with it. And I was using it fairly consistently up until, you know, this kind of move thing started. And when I started watching some recent videos, I was like, what? What's happening down here? I, oh, I mean, I know I've put on some COVID weight, but I mean, come on, what, what's happening? And I started thinking, um, you were using your new face and, and you stopped. Now, it's not like I've been using it for years or even months. I've just been using it pretty regularly about five days a week for, you know, several weeks. That's enough for something. I mean, I didn't so much notice the difference when I was using it, but I noticed the difference when I stopped. If you're not familiar, I guess I should tell you what this is. This is a microcurrent device that you just glide along areas of your face. The whole treatment takes about five minutes. It doesn't hurt. I just sometimes will taste a little bit of metal around my mouth. I don't even feel, you know, vibrations or anything like that. There are all kinds of demos online and I guess I've really never talked about it or gone out of my way to do a huge test because I feel like so many other channels have done that so well that you don't need another one. But there is a reason why so many people do rave about this device because it actually does produce results. It's supposed to be, a, you know, muscle toning for your face because the muscles, you know, get lax as we age and that's what, you know, helps our skin stay taut is keeping those muscles in shape and this does that. You know, I plan my videos out ahead of time. I, it's just what I do. I know there's some people that plan things video to video. That's not usually the way I do things. And when I plan this video out, this was not 
a product that I was considering. It wasn't until I watched those videos and I realized what happened. I knew that this had to go in here because it really has made a difference that I wasn't even aware of. <laughs> so for me, this is a game changer and I need to get back on this so that I can get this back where it was because I noticed a difference. Now I just gave you my verdict on a bunch of new hyped up makeup releases that I've been using and trying out. If you missed that video, I'll have it linked here for you. I'd like to hear from you in the comments what some of your game changers are, what's made a huge difference for you. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and become part of the family. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.